Whenever you select a unit in the menu on the right here in KCD, and I'll just double click on the base four drawer, a unit menu pops up. Now the unit menu has a lot of standardized things as far as where the name is and the code is just an abbreviation uh, that you can set if you'd like. Um, and there's a, a separate file for that if you'd like also. Um, but as far as the locate from, this is just a, a way of locating things on the particular wall. And you could put anything left, right, or center on any particular unit that happens to be on the screen right now. So if we wanted to change that 7 to, say, next to 3, that would be unit 3. We could put it right of that to locate it. We'd want to put something in the width. This is a standard place. We know it's 18 and a half based on the, the measurement down below here. We could type 18 space 1 slash 2 also. Now notice there's the height, the depth, the left style, the right style. These are details about this specific four drawer base. And we have the top drawer opening height. We have the second drawer opening height, the third, all the details that pertain to that unit. We're not trying to give you a menu that you can change this into something totally different. The idea is that you're working with a known and go and change any of those knowns within that unit to a specific amount of custom size. Now the location is just the physical location it has to be at to be to the right of unit three. And there's a space here. If I ever if I wanted to leave a little space between that unit and this particular cabinet, I could have just put one and it would leave a one inch space right there. This is telling me what the opening is. And I'll just click OK on this and notice it just fits in that space. Now, the unit menu is, is pretty standard. If you double click on a unit that's already on the screen, you'll notice all this other information is pretty much the same for the wall cabinet as it was for a drawer base. Except notice on the drawer base, we didn't have the option to set it to single or pairs of doors because there were no doors on it. So in this case, if I want a single door and I want two openings, I could just come down here and click on it and click OK. And now this particular cabinet has two openings with single doors. Or I could double click back on it and I can make that two openings with pairs of doors. So you have the option to modify quite a bit within a unit. But what you're going to find is that you select what is best for that situation. You click OK. And if it's some other cabinet that you're looking for, such as a wall cabinet with two vertical openings well what you want to do is in your menu on the right here come down to the unit that you'd be looking for and there's other areas in here you should be familiar with there's custom top there's designer top there's all these different sections and if you click on any of these items you'll start seeing that you have other options with vertical openings below just be aware this unit menu is quite extensive. Use the search when you're really looking for something. And I think you'll find that the unit menu gives you that flexibility you're looking for to put the things up the way you need to quickly and easily.